So today we're going to be trolling Disney adults on Facebook. If you don't know what Disney adults are, they are exactly what they sound like. Adults obsessed with Disney. And I think they're a bit weird. So that's why we're trolling them today on Facebook. So here's my profile from the last Facebook video I did. But we need to do some changes. My bio has now changed to I'm a single mother of a five-year-old boy. I love everything Disney. Single mothers and Disneyland just go hand in hand. And I changed my banner as well to a Disney World photo. So if anyone clicks on my profile, they should automatically think I'm a Disney adult and just accept me straight away because I need to get into these groups. Found an unexpected surprise. A hidden Mickey on my plate. What is that? You've circled half of a spoon. Also, if that's what Mickey looks like, there is something wrong with your Mickey Mouse. Oh my God. I love seeing people find hidden Mickeys in their home. It's such a pleasure. Barbara, this is not a hidden Mickey. A blind person could do a better job at finding something that looks like Mickey Mouse. Is Disney still open during the hurricane? Hubby wants to go. You think the rides will get faster if there's a tornado? My advice is to risk it because Disney World is more important than health. If you really love Disney World that much, just go. You're gonna get buried at Goofy's graveyard. I feel like it would be expensive to die there as well. I don't know what it is. Everything about Disney is expensive. Did you know that Mickey Mouse has a sister named Amelia Field Mouse? <gasps> no! I did not know this! Thank you so much, Derek. And then someone replies, Jenny, please, calm down. Sorry, I got a bit excited about Mickey Mouse's sister. No, I will not calm down, Josephine. Do not tell me what to do. Yes, ma'am. You better be scared, because I know multiple Disney characters that have my back. Look at yourself in the mirror, Josephine. You're probably ugly. Me on a regular day. Me on my period. Ah, yes. This is so relatable, though. Every time I'm on my period, I feel like I just turn into fire. Rage! You know, like, everyone, shut up. Look at my nephew dressed as Prince Charming and his dog as Cinderella for Halloween. Perhaps I'm crying. Why is bro pretending to date his dog? That's not even funny. That's just weird. Oh, Bro is a zoophile. You can't just be pretending dogs are human so you can date them. Remove the dog from him ASAP. When you're a Disney adult, but every day that passes, the Walt Disney Company makes it harder to be a Disney adult. I mean, the people that are starving out there, they don't have it as hard as Disney adults. That's the real tough life. Wow, life must be super difficult for you. Me yelling at all the slow drivers because I left at 8.55 and I need to be at work by 9. Another hilarious meme by the Disney adults there, guys. Not me. I only work from home. They stop allowing that I'll sell marijuana to the high schoolers. Easy money since police no longer do anything about it. Joseph, what are you up to, bruv? How much for a draw, my guy? Hook me up with a Mickey Mouse discount as well. Like, how much, though? Is it cheap? Normalize spoiling yourself for a Disney vacation. It can't be just about bills. The kids need hot water and electricity. No, they don't. You know what they need? Disneyland. I reckon paying bills is more important than going to see a castle and go on some roller coasters for a month's wages. Bills? Push that aside. We don't care. How will we have fun in life if we can't go to Disney World and take photos with people in the costume and then go on the rides with all the other overweight people that come? If Cinderella's shoe fits so perfectly, why did it fall off in the first place? I don't care about Cinderella feet right now. Whatever. That guy Joseph sold me is not good. I just saw a woman coming out of my wall. What have you done, Joseph? What have you done to me? Help! Joseph, what the fuck did you sell me, bro? No wonder it was so cheap. Early this afternoon, as I cherished my solo time watching TV and refining my singing with Disney classics, I was blessed to reunite with my endearing dear friends, Mama Dear and Bambi, gracefully roaming by backyard. Who knows? Perhaps these gentle creatures aspire to be harmonious neighbors or simply appreciate the beauty of our neighborhood. Either way, this heartwarming sight inspires hope. I don't know why there's dear in your back garden, mate. But I do need to go back to that first sentence you said. Is that what you do on your spare time? You sit there singing Disney songs and watching Disney movies. It must have been your angelic voice that brought them there, mate. Well, maybe. Lol. Probably not, though. <laughs> Out of curiosity and the fact that I want to celebrate my 30th anniversary at Disney World, what do you consider to be the most romantic places to stay at Wonderwood? Romantic places at Disney World. I don't think there is any. It's a thing for kids. Could I imagine anything less romantic than fully grown adults dressed up as mascots? taking photos with crying kids. No, I couldn't. That sounds horrific. Is it romantic to see loads of kids crying and shitting themselves on rides? No, it really isn't. Do I get it? I have Mickey already. I've had my eye on her for months. And then the image is a $200 Minnie Mouse figure. $200 for a plastic Minnie Mouse toy. Are you insane? Everyone at Disney World is either going bankrupt from going there or is rich. Use the money for therapy instead. Can you 
you guys show pictures of hidden Mickeys? I'd love to see. So Disney adults love this thing where they find hidden Mickey Mouses everywhere they go. Let's see where people have found their Mickey Mouses. We have a picture of a tree or something. I don't know what this is. There are circles, yes, but there is nothing that looks like Mickey Mouse. We have a photo of a light. I'm guessing the person thinks the Mickey Mouse is the light in the middle. But if you see Mickey Mouse right there, you need to get your eyes tested because that looks like a love heart at best. There is no way that's a Mickey Mouse. Does Mickey Mouse have a pointy chin? No. Here's another photo. Someone found some circles on an art piece. Every time you see a few fucking circles does not mean it's Mickey Mouse. So here we have a picture of London. I'm gonna find some hidden Mickey Mouses so I can send my photo in. And then here's the picture, guys. I think I found a couple, you know, like there's one there, one there, one there. And... Hi, I'm having a my ex-fiance cheated on me girls trip to Disney when my wedding slash Disney honeymoon was supposed to be in looking for advice. Yeah, that's why your fiance cheated on you. Wanting to go to Disney for your honeymoon. You did it to yourself. Normally you'd say you kind of go all out for the honeymoon, you know, go somewhere really nice. Disney World. Least romantic place on earth. Just imagine having to go to Disney World for a honeymoon where it's supposed to be relaxing and fun and you spend three hours queuing and seeing kids shit themselves. These are the lovely duo I recently purchased. They're in Easter outfits. Why are they in Easter outfits in November? And also, what is going on with Minnie Mouse? Got that thing. It's massive, bro. And the hand lotion next to her as well. That's crazy. Minnie Mouse jerking it. What do you mean? Minnie Mouse is packing more heat than me. Hand lotion next to her is crazy work as well. I know you are a dirty dog, Michelle. Dirty dog? That was an unintentional advertisement, but thanks for pointing it out. Limbo. Are you an OF girl or something, Michelle? What's going on? Michelle, I know them tugs used to go crazy back in the day. My husband died because I wasn't good at it, but now I give head for a living and you are my inspiration. Admin? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What is wrong, Michelle? My career's over. The admin's coming for me now. She wrote admin. Well, it appears that this group is not monitored and reporting scum to the admins isn't going to work. So if Nothing is done to clean this Jenny slugs from posting like this. I'm going to leave this group. Just too much crap like this in a world today. How dare you call me scum? Never direct another word to me again, you old bag scum. Michelle, I was hyping you up. You are my inspiration. I know what you're up to with Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. You got a monitor set up right there with a hand lotion. Just because I exposed your secrets, now you're angry at me. I will not leave this group. So either you leave or just deal with it. And then Michelle reacted. Laughing emoji. <laughs> it's not funny, Michelle. Don't ever laugh at me again. What are the best YouTubes to watch for Disney, please? I'm going in spring, but haven't been in 10 years. So you've been out of hell for 10 years, but you want to go back. But you know what? I'll tell you the best YouTube channel to watch for Disney. Perch, trolling Disney adults on Facebook. If who wear ears have your favorite character sign them, one of the people could literally be a serial killer or a nonce. But because they're dressed in a Disney princess outfit, it's fine. So you want some random person in a costume to sign your things. Why would you intentionally want some random person who is dressed up as this character? It isn't the character, by the way, because they aren't real. And you want them to sign your things, your items that you paid for. And it's probably $100 for a Disney headband because for some reason, that's how expensive the prices are there. So you're telling me you want someone to ruin it. They are not really Cinderella. They are just writing Cinderella on it. You could do that yourself. What's the craziest thing you have heard or seen in Disneyland slash world? I heard a lady say, first we hot dog, then we coffee, and I thought that was a great way to start rope drop. <laughs> I drink coffee. <laughs> Why do old people think drinking coffee is a personality trait? It's not a personality trait. It's not funny. We hot dog, then we coffee. Ha <laughs> ha! Standing in line for pirates. Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. We're almost to the right. Just hold it. Dad, I really have to poo. Just hold it for five more minutes. Kid, after 30 seconds of silence. Dad, I didn't make it. And then they got on the ride. Yeah, you know damn well they got on the ride. You just queued up for four hours. I ain't going back now. You are sticking through me. I don't care if everyone else gets shit on them. It's not my problem, is it? I had to join in. As a Disney adult, I've seen and done some crazy things at Disneyland. This guy, Joseph, once gave me an ounce for a quick blowy behind a Dumbo ride in Paris. Turns out he was the manager of Disneyland. I reported him and they gave him a promotion a few weeks later. What he gave me was not a real deal either. It was just some grass rolled up to look like a split. Fuck you, Joseph. French people. What's your favorite type of clothes to wear to a park? I don't know. Something suitable. If there's a park, there's normally children. I like to wear flip-flops and nothing else. I am independent woman.
And that's not the sound of the flip flops. <laughs> that's a crazy comment. That's a crazy comment. Disney adults are a bit too crazy for me, okay? They're obsessed with something that was made for kids. And I think it's a bit weird. Yes, it can be fun, but I think they take it over the top by spending $10 million every single year by going there. If you're not a Disney adult, go get the merch at Purge.store right now and like and subscribe or you're going to turn into an overweight Disney adult.